Hello, it's time again for some art analysis. Let's review how this works. To analyze an artwork, look at the artwork like you're a detective trying to solve a mystery. For example, when you look at this painting of the bird flying out of the cage, ask yourself, what parts of the painting look like they could have a deeper hidden meaning? You may decide that the bird is not just a bird, but it has a deeper meaning. For example, the bird could symbolize freedom. Once you have a theory about what the deeper meaning in the artwork is, then you have to back up your theory with evidence. So look back into the artwork and find other things in it that could support your idea. For example, the cage. Once you found your evidence, you have to explain how your evidence supports your theory. For example, the cage supports the idea that the bird represents freedom because cages keep people in and keep them from being able to make their own choices or go where they want to go. Today, we will be analyzing artworks that have something to do with immigration, refugees, and culture. Before you analyze some other artworks on your own, I'm going to analyze this painting by Idel Rodriguez. This painting is called Strangers. As I begin to analyze this painting, look at it deeply like a detective, I'm going to start to have a conversation with myself in my head. This conversation could also be had with a neighbor. Either way, it's important to formulate your thoughts before you write them down. Whether the conversation is in your own head or with a neighbor, it may sound something like this. Hey, what is this painting of anyway? I don't know. Looks like some guys on a boat. Yeah, some guys on a boat. What do you think they're doing? Hmm, good question. Well, Mr. Ibe said we're looking art about immigrants, and they're packed onto that little boat, so maybe they're immigrants crossing into a new land or something. Yeah, I could go with that. Okay, we're supposed to find part of it that has a deeper meaning, and I'm looking at it, the way they're kind of like scary looking, like ghost or something, that could be something deep. Totally, it's definitely deep. It's, it's almost like they represent the scariness and the fear of immigration almost. I think we're onto something, and there's evidence too. I mean, look at them. They look like ghosts, but they look like they're scared ghosts. Look at that one guy's eyes. His eyes are so wide, like he's terrified. Good point. Maybe it's like they're painted like ghosts because some people think immigrants are scary, but they're also scared themselves because think about how terrifying it would be to cross an ocean on a crazy boat like that. Whoa, that's deep, dude. I think we nailed it. Let's ride it out. When it comes time to write down your interpretation, scroll down on your Google form and begin writing it out. Begin your response with a starter sentence that tells us what the artwork represents or what part of the artwork represents. It may sound something like this artwork represents or this part of the artwork symbolizes. For my example, I'm saying this artwork symbolizes the fear that surrounds immigration. Then in the second sentence, Go on to give your evidence that supports your interpretation. For my example, I'm saying my evidence is that the characters on the boat look like ghosts. And they have scared, wide-eyed expressions on their faces. Period. In the last part of your response, you'll need to make a strong connection between your interpretation and your evidence. For my example, I'm going to try to connect the ideas of the scary ghost faces to the fear of immigration. So for example, I'm going to write that representing immigrant characters as scared ghosts shows how immigrants are sometimes viewed as scary or threatening, while at the same time they are probably fearful about having to leave their home and trying to fit into a new culture. And there you have a successful analytical response because I've told what the hidden meaning behind the artwork is, I've given evidence, and I've explained how the evidence I pointed out supports my interpretation. Once you have that, you can submit it, and I will grade it and give you your feedback later this week, and you'll be done. All right, let's have at it.